What is up, nerdy nerds? It's Mason, and I'm back with another comic book haul in the style of omnibus and hardcovers and all that good stuff. And hallelujah, this, this month, I got four omnibus in this haul. Four of them! Um, I took another job recently, had a little bit more expendable income, and um, I really wanted to buy a few of these omnibus that were recently announced um, on that diamond um, almost sold out, out of print list um, that we got from the Omnibos Live on the Facebook group. And it kind of put me in a little panic because of a few of those uh, have been on my want list for some time. And that really uh, motivated me to pick them up. And I got some pretty good deals on them too, so I'm happy with that. But first, let's start out with my most uh, recent arrival. Um, which has been pretty popular, I'm sure. It's the Batman by Grant Morrison Omnibus Volume 2. Got a nice blue spine. Um, <clears throat> this collects uh, Batman and Robin, number 1 through 16, Batman number 700 through 702, and Batman The Return of Bruce Wayne, number 1 through 6. Um, so obviously by Grant Morrison. Um, I really liked Volume 1 that came out a year ago. So picking up this one was a no-brainer, thanks to DC for actually putting it out. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll crack her open, hopefully today, since I finally have time, and we'll see what it's like. A couple more Batmans. Uh, early this month, uh, this came out, so I picked up from In Stock Trades, uh, Legends of the Dark Knight by Michael Golden. Um, been slowly trying to pick up these, you know, artist-centered uh, Legends of the Dark Knight, Tales of the Dark Knight style books. Um, especially when they're brand new, try to get them for that IST discount. Um, this book collects Batman Family 15 through 20, Batman 295, 303, uh, DC Special Series number 15, and Detective Comics number 482, Batman Special number 1, and Batman Gotham Knights number 22, along with a treasure trove of covers. Hallelujah. Uh, I've always enjoyed the art of Michael Golden, so just want to pick up this little guy. All right, next. Um, got a couple, well, I guess I got this one from eBay uh, with a pretty cool coupon, I guess. I got uh, Batman by Doug Monch and Kelly Jones, Volume 2. So I got Volume 1 um, back at C2E2 in March. Um, I haven't read it yet. Wanted to uh, wait till I got volume two and probably I'll read them both uh, back to back. Uh, anyway, this one co just collects Batman uh, number 536 through 552. Um, and so this one on eBay, it was like $20 free shipping, um, brand new. And I there was like a $3 off coupon. And so I figured I'd use it on this one. So I got for 17 bucks shipped, not a bad deal. You know, on IST, it's like 27 bucks, so save 10 bucks. And it all worked out just fine. <laughs> uh, next one, I'm really glad I finally picked it up. Got it for a nice, uh, cheap deal on the Facebook Omnibus Collectors group. Um, it's the Ninjak Deluxe Edition Volume 1 uh, by Matt Kent. Ninjak, Ninja K. Uh, I believe it's formally Ninja K, you know, it's up for debate. Ninjack is just funner to say, um, but it just depends, you know, I'll say them both. Um, but anyway, I really love that, the more recent Christos Gage run, and I've been wanting to read this for a long time. Just waiting for that uh, trigger pull and deal to appear, and $17 shipped was good enough for me. Um, just collects Ninjack uh, 1 through 13. Um, and I'll have to pick up volume two soon. It looks like um, that one's not as cheaply. It's probably one of those less of a print run volume two situations. Um, but hopefully I'll be picking it up next month and hopefully it's, you know, a fun run. I love, love, love my Ninja K. All right, three more nice omnibus. Um, this one I also picked up on the Facebook collectors group been wanting it for a long time and as I said it's been on the diamond almost out of print list and I knew I'd hate myself if I didn't have the omnibus I hate myself guys god anyway it's a uh, new x-men 
Um, Omnibus by Grant Morrison. Yes, sir. Which collects New X-Men 114 through 154 and New X-Men Annual from 2001. Um, so I finished uh, I finished this this month, read it all. Really, really enjoyed it. I'll give it a, a nice solid A. Um, Love this book. There were a few parts that was a little bit hard to keep up with. Um, lots of characters that you kind of had to keep up with. Um, but for the most part, really enjoyed the book. It flowed really well for me. Um, love Grant Morrison's take on these X-Men characters, which obviously consists of uh, Scott Summers' you know, Cyclops, who's depressed because two hot chicks want to bang him. And he just wants to do the right thing, be the be an X man, you know. The poor guy is just blood, cursed with uh, hunkiness, isn't he? <laughs> um, and then of course Jean Grey, uh, really enjoyed um, her arc in this uh, in this omnibus. Uh, kind of gave me more appreciation for her, um, if you know, if all the X Men in general, really, because um, I don't read a lot of X Men because it's kind of hard to choose where to jump in. I don't know. So, and then I, I know that Omar from the Umbros Live said that this was like, brought him back into reading comics, was checking this book out. So that was a good sell for me. Plus, it's the run that introduces Phantom X, and I really, really enjoy that character. So I knew I had to read this run, and I enjoy Grant Morrison anyway. Um, so yeah, Emma Frost, she was really dope. Loved her and loved her like, there's like five um, identical girls. Um, I loved her little team there. That was fun. Uh, Wolverine, just being a badass as always. Beast, a scientific genius in this book. Um, Zorn, there's kind of a twist there. Um, of course, Charles Xavier. And um, I liked, you know, near the beginning of the book when uh, it kind of talks about his twin sister. There, it was kind of like a Tool music video, man, with the artwork and them being fetuses together. It was a cool little sequence. I enjoyed it. Um, as for the plot of this book, it was lots, lots of shit are going down. Um, normal X-Men stuff though, you know, mutants like humanity doesn't like mutants. Mutants just want to be equal, um, which was told really well by Grant. Um, sometimes I feel like when I try to describe the story, I feel like I've been taking bong hits. Uh, so, you know, check it out for yourself. I really enjoyed it. I look forward to reading it every night. Um, I think next I might need to check out Astonishing X-Men, um, so we'll see about that, but really glad I finally checked this out. Um, one of, one of my favorite omnibus, really, guys, and highly recommended. All right, it's pool time. Y'all know what that means. All right, which one? I'll just do this one first. So, uh, yeah, these two were on that low print one. Panic, everybody. If you don't have it, you need to buy it now. And it is my goal anyway to have every Deadpool omnibus. So I was like, shit, I better buy those. Um, this was a more recent release, but I just didn't pick it up right when it came out. Um, anyway, the Deadpool and Company omnibus. Uh, it's a big one. Shite. Um, this one collects... Marvel, Marvel Zombies 4, 1 through 4. Deadpool, Merc with a Mouth, 1 through 13, which is one of my favorite uh, Deadpool miniseries. It's the one that has like all those um, like movie homage covers. That one's so cool. Um, so yeah, uh, Lady Deadpool number 1, uh, Prelude to Deadpool Core, 1 through 5, Deadpool Core, 1 through 12, Deadpool Family number 1, Deadpool Team Up, from 2010, 899 through 883, and material from Marvel Zombies 3, number one. So, um, so like I said, I read The Merc with a Mouth, loved it. Um, I read a few of the Deadpool team-ups, and like they were okay, um, kind of goofy. I think the one, I read one with the, the Frankencastle one, and I think the Ghost Rider one. I think there was one with Zaytana that I read, and they were okay. Um, but I'm looking forward to the Deadpool core story, and of course, the finishing up the rest of that team up, and Marvel Zombies 4, 1 through 4, we'll see what that's like. 
other than that, just a, it's a fucking Deadpool omnibus, so it has to be mine whether the stories suck or not. Because sometimes Deadpool miniseries can be hit or miss. Um, but anyway, nice thick book for the shelf. Alright, one more. I got the Deadpool Beginnings Omnibus, finally! Ah! Um, yeah, what does this collect, guys? Uh, New Mutants 98, duh. Uh, X Force from 1991, uh, number 2, number 11, 15, 47, and 56. You know, basically all of Deadpool's uh, early appearances in X Force. Um, we got Nomad from 1992, number 4. Uh, Deadpool, Circle Chase 1 through 4, Secret Defenders 15 through 17, Deadpool, uh, the mini, the first miniseries 1 through 4, Wolverine from 1988, uh, the run that began in 1988, excuse me, uh, number 88 and 154 through 155, Heroes for Hire 10 through 11, and Deadpool Team Up 1998 number 1, which is um, like the, the kiddie pool I think team up which is a pretty cool story uh yeah and there's a few other randos here um anyway basically you know that's all the stories that it collects lots of classic you know 90s deadpool um i've pretty you know one reason i haven't bought this yet is because i pretty much read all of this so it wasn't like a need to buy in order to read kind of thing it was just whenever i could but I'm um, still an omnibus that's a must own for Deadpool fans, in my opinion. Um, I remember reading, I, li I liked the two miniseries, the Circle Chase and the, the Limited series. Um, uh, kind of a thing about Rob Liefeld, so sometimes eh, I'm a little eye rolly at those, those stories. Um, I really liked Wolverine 88, I remember that one. Um, the X Force with Siren. I really enjoyed the Heroes for Hire tie-ins. I remember reading those. Those were funny. Um, the Wolverine 99 Annual. That's a great book. Shit. Yeah, and the Deadpool uh, Whittle Wade. That, that, that's a pretty cool book, too. Yeah, so tons of classic pool on here, guys. If you need classic pool, this is the omnibus to get. And by the way, these two omnibus. Okay, let's try to um, just brag about the coupon, I guess. I don't know if it's that. But anyway... A few weeks ago when they had the 13% eBay bucks sale, um, I decided it's time to do it. And like the same seller had both of those omnibus. So after like eBay bucks, um, I got them for both for like 50 bucks each, which is nice, nice enough for me. If you buy Deadpool Beginnings on IST, it's like 58 and the Deadpool company is 72. So, I saved a little bit of change, enough to make it worth it for me. Thank you for caring. Um, so yeah, that's all my thick, uh, thick books for this month. I uh, really love this haul. Um, July looks like a really fucking slow month. And like, I, I think the only book, like there's the Deadpool by Scotty Young trade, and it was supposed to be uh, the Ninjack, like uh, Christos Gage is finally being put into a hardcover. I was gonna pick that up, but according to Jem Mint, it might have been delayed. So I literally like have like no books. Um, but I have a couple other ideas for videos. Um, so stay tuned for those. Um, so yeah, that's enough out of me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.